Hello, hello. Today I'm here to do another pictorial video on a full sewing I did using a, clo a closure and no glue. So here I'm going to start off with the braiding pattern. I did a full beehive in her head. As you will see in the following videos, it just goes all around the top of her head. And I actually started at the top when I did it. So I just went around and around. Her hair is pretty thin. So, yeah. <laughs> so I just went around and around. And as you can see the back, I have a little piece of her hair hanging down. And here is another view of that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to interlock the hanging braid into the rest of the braids, as you can see in this photo here. So nothing's hanging down and everything will be all together and everything will lay flat. So I use this Silk Elements Regular Formula Grease to grease her scalp with. And I also used a closed top weaving net to protect her braids, which you can get from Stylist. So here is a photo of the net on, and I cut the net first before I actually started sewing. So she used the velvet doobie, that's like the bump here, like for a bob. We used that in the back, and we used regular velvet 8 inch in the front. Now it was a lot of hair that came in the bump pack, so this was all of this the bump hair. So we used a little tiny bit of the straight hair and I didn't show me sewing in it all because I have a video sewing in here excuse my baby um, and this is when I got to the end I just kept sewing around and sewing around and sewing around so I got into a circle so as I was almost finished I just split the track right here and I cut one piece off and I just kept going around and around and around and around until I couldn't get any more weave in a circle so there was no circle left as you can see here are some photos of that just a little closure piece I know some people may um, take a piece of hair and the track and glue it all together in a circle and lay it flat but I didn't want to use any glue this time and actually this was my first time doing it and it came out pretty good to me Here's a photo. I took some suave hairspray and sprayed it in the middle of the closure and took my curling wine and just pressed down on it so it will be flat. So this is the finished product of the closure in this photo right here. So here is the length of the bump hair on her before I did any cutting and this is how I cut it into a bob and I just feathered the back and I did layers all over the hair and feathered it all around so this is one side and here's the other side like I said I layered and feathered the hair all over and I gave her a sort of like a side part here's another view of the back and like I said this is my first time doing a bob so I think I did pretty good for my first time and here's a photo of the front yeah like I said I gave her a slight side part and you can see no tracks showing or anything so I just wanted to come and do this quick pictorial video guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.